New Year, New Me. You've probably heard that or even said it yourself. A lot of people set goals for themselves in 2024 from fitness to financial. MTN's Tom Buchanan found out what people in Helena are resolving to do in 2024. New Year's resolutions. Many of us make them and most of us break them. MTN thought it would be fun to go out and see what some folks have committed to in the new year. The new year is a great time to see what's been holding you back and make the necessary adjustments. Some attempt to pick up new habits by joining a gym. According to a study by Forbes, nearly half of resolutions made for this upcoming year have to do with fitness. Others make the decision to quit something that may not be serving them. For example, many people choose to take part in dry January. According to research from the University of Sussex, 71% of those who participated in a dry January study slept better. 71% realized they don't need a drink to enjoy themselves, and 67% had more energy. Eric Rome is visiting Helena from Florida. He says he's going to try and get up earlier and use the time to pursue a new hobby like rock climbing. I feel like I've been wasting a lot of time in the day just kind of lounge and so getting up and get more active. Some, like Jacob Hutchison, who is visiting family in Helena, says that he doesn't make New Year's resolutions. I just don't feel like I ever follow through with it. Like, I, if I do one, it's like a month and then I stop doing it. So I just don't do it anymore. Heather Roberts, who is in town for a wedding, has found that resolutions can be made at any time of year, when you feel like you're truly ready for a change. Then when I was ready, you know, last spring, then I guess I kind of made my resolution then, and I quit smoking. So I, I, you have to be ready to do it when you do it. That's when you make the resolution. Whatever your New Year's resolution or lack thereof, may you be successful and enjoy this new year. Happy New Year. Reporting in Helena, Tom Buchanan, MTN News. What started as a way to help local Boy Scouts buy new equipment after theirs was stolen has become a holiday tradition that helps more than just the Scouts. MTN's Ali Kaiser explains. Four years ago, Boy Scout Troop 214 started an annual tradition of picking up Christmas trees around the community. And at this point, they have picked up roughly 1,200. Service just makes us feel good and, you know, just feeling good always brings people back to the, you know, troop to do more activities. So The troop consists of 41 scouts and Troop 218 has assisted in the pickup for the past three years. Troop 214 started picking up trees after a storage unit holding nearly $5,000 worth of gear and equipment was burglarized. While the Boy Scouts do not charge for pickups, tipping and donations are suggested. It helps uh, pay for their outings. We do a lot of activities and campouts. Um, all of that costs some sort of money, you know, to, to make it happen. Uh, plus, the troop has equipment uh, that is needed to be maintained and sometimes replaced. Troy County Disposal typically picks up trees too, but they are not doing it this year to give the troop more business. Montana Fish, Wildlife, and Parks will sink the trees into Canyon Ferry this spring to support the perch habitat. The scouts already have 170 tree pickups scheduled for this year, and they will happen over the next two Saturdays. This year it looks like it's a little bit bigger, and I don't know what the cause of that is, um, but we're happy to pick up as many as people want us to. You can schedule the Boy Scouts to pick up your Christmas tree by emailing troop214helena at gmail.com. In Helena, Ali Kaiser, MTN News.